My name is Dan and this video is one in a series of videos I'm doing on using uh, widget blueprints in Unreal. Uh, and uh, in this one I'm going to show you some layout stuff. Uh, so normally what you're doing is you have uh, a, like a master widget that you've created and uh, you're going to put other widgets inside this and um, you're always going to want some kind of way of uh, putting them in the places that you want on the screen and uh, relating them to each other, potentially. So what I'm not going to do is show you any functionality. The other thing I'm not going to do is actually make any pretty elements. I'm just going to be using uh, buttons and text because the thing that I want to focus on is how to use the layout elements here. Um, again, also, I'm not going to do everything. I'm going to do the some of the most common and most useful ones. So we've got a um, uh, a widget blueprint created called Dan Widget, which we created a couple of videos ago, and um, there's nothing in it at the moment, uh, which is deliberate, and we're just going to be using the, the widget editor and, and the graph editor, not the graph editor, the, the designer editor here. Um, so the things that we want are, the thi are things called panels. So over here on the right hand side, let's zoom in. So right hand side, I mean left hand side. So these are various different boxes, these panels, and panels quite a common term to be used in, in uh, graphical user interfaces in programming languages as well, various other tools. Um, and um, uh, the ones that we're going to look at, we're going to look at, we're going to look at the canvas panel, um, and we're going to look at a vertical box and a horizontal box and a grid panel as well. We're not going to look at the others, um, you know, time, etc. Right. So let's zoom back out again. We're going to I'm going to put a canvas panel. Canvas panel is often your uh, root element for your widget because this allows really versatile layout uh, to happen. So I'm just going to pull one onto the screen. Um, and uh, you can have this at different sizes depending on what screen size you might be doing. I'm going to leave this as the standard as 1280 by 70, um, and it fills the full screen there. Now, if I get another element, so I'm going to go back up, um, and basically I'm going to uh, put use buttons and things. So I'm going to uh, pull a button in. There's nothing in the button. Buttons can take one element inside them, so I'm going to put some text inside that. Um, and uh, that text doesn't seem to appear because it has not gone inside the button. I'm just going to move that around in the hierarchy. There we are. Uh, the text block is going to say, ah, this is so wrong. Let's try doing that again because that button should have expanded. Maybe it shouldn't have, but I expected it to expand. I put that in. It hasn't. So we're going to try and change the button size. Um, there's margin values there. Um, that's the. I know I'm on the text. That's fine. Right. Position X, position Y, size X. We'll get that a bit bigger. There we go. And the text in the middle. I'm just going to change that text to a nice uh, black colour so that it's easier to see against that. So what we've got is a button that I've just kind of placed arbitrarily inside here. We can zoom in and zoom out with the right mouse, uh, middle mouse wheel. Um, and I can move that around, that button. I can place it anywhere I like inside uh, this canvas. And that would be all very well if all I ever wanted to do was use the, the same resolution. Uh, but sometimes when you're in other resolutions, you need to be thinking about how the, uh, the different elements are going to react to that um, and how they're going to be uh, laid out. So you've probably noticed in up here this uh, thing, uh, and this is called the anchor. Um, so what that means is that we're using the top left as an anchor. And over here, let's have a look at the, this information. Our position X 
is 216, so it's uh, 216 pixels uh, in the X direction, so that's left to right from the anchor, and 172 down uh, pixels down in the Y direction. So we can move that, so move that down and move that across, or we can drag and drop it. So that's been off screen. So as I move it, it just moves about with these numbers. Um, however, what it's going to do is if I resize this to show you, it's going to scale the whole thing. It actually has some things like minimums as well in that. Um, so it moves depending on um, your size, and it moves relative to that anchor point. So what if you want to anchor somewhere else? Well, if I click on the anchors here, we get nice visual pictures. That's the anchor we're currently using, which is top left. Uh, but maybe I want to do it from the bottom right. So the anchor moves to the bottom right. The button hasn't moved, um, but it's just recalculated these positions. Um, and if we move that there, and then we show this being, ah, how to do resizing when, there you go, when we've got the anchor point. See, it's, moving, it's staying fixed relative to that anchor point. Um, I'm not 100% sure, I will confess, um, how all the different anchor points work. So these are these standard nine are center, obviously the top corners, bottom center, um, left, middle, etc. So if we go there for anchor, I can go from the center. Um, and um, uh, yes, uh, I'll show you something else in a second. I'll stay on the center. So you can do the stretched ones. Uh, but I tend not to use those because I'm not fully understand how they're used. Go back to the center one. So the other thing, there is a subtle thing as well going on here. So if I move this so that it's right at the center, or I think it's right at the center, move it slightly down and look at that anchor position. You'll see that actually my position X and my position Y are um, not what you might imagine. The minus 116 and minus 16. And why is that? That's because we're actually measuring from the anchor point, which is here, to the top left of the widget that we're positioning there. And if you want to be more subtle and you want to be uh, moving relative to another part of the widget, you can do that using the alignment numbers here. So it goes from zero at, uh, in the X, it goes from zero um, at the left side to one at the right side. So if we put one in there, look at it, we'll see that it's, it's moved relative to there. That's where the top left was, and it's now the top right. Similarly, from top to bottom, we can do one in here. But the one that is often quite useful is 0 0.5, which is halfway. So I've got to register the middle to the middle. And I'm then going to do make the position 0. Oh, I don't want the size to be 0. I wonder what I've done there. Um, size X, size Y. Uh, yes, that was probably about 140. Um, 0. Zero. Let's zoom back out and have a look. And hopefully you can see that it is now in the center. So that I did get that size wrong. So that's the text block. Let's go to the bottom again. Right. What do we need? Let's have 200. Nice and big. There we go. And that's um, resizing by the center. And also because it's the center of the button is registered to the center of the screen. That will stay absolutely slap bang in the center of the screen as we move that about. So that's how to use a canvas panel and use the uh, the anchors. Uh, we're next going to do a thing. We'll say we want to have a few things that are connected together at the top left. So we want the word score and then a number that gives us, us the score. Let's use text to do this. Um, I'm going to want to um, put them together, make sure that they're kind of bound together and lined up, whatever. I could do that kind of pixel by pixel, but you can do 
uh, kind of make layout easier. Um, and what I can do is I can use what's called a horizontal box. Uh, so I'm going to find a horizontal box here. I'm going to drag it into uh, the uh, uh, into the canvas panel. So that is now a container which can contain several elements. And I'm going to con uh, drag a text into it. And um, that text block isn't big enough. I'm going to let's put a button in there as well. So I'm just going to bring it down so that hover over the horizontal box so it gets added to that. And we can see it's been added horizontally. Um, and if we made it bigger, where's the sizing stuff? Size auto or fill. Um, so I'm just looking for the sizing. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just put some text in it and it should automatically expand. Take that. There we go. And so I've got two elements inside here. And if I add another element, it'll just keep moving them on. Uh, adding them on, and that's what's checkbox isn't brilliant. Uh, progress bar, there we go, that's not very wide. Um, and um, this is these, but these are being added left to right in the uh, horizontal uh, box that I've got. Um, another thing that we could use is a vertical box. So let's add one of those somewhere else on the screen. And the panel layouts vertical box we're going to put that over there actually i'm going to move this simple button out of the way uh, and what we're going to use this for is we're going to have a uh, a set of buttons um that we're going to have in here so i'll take this this button that's got a text block on it and i'm going to duplicate it and put it inside the vertical box um, so the vertical box has got a fixed width um, which we told it, uh, it I was going to say it can expand, I'm not sure whether it can or not, um, but it will expand um, vertically if we add more. So if I do another button and duplicate, then it'll add that to the, uh, to the bottom. Now we can make the padding, um, so the padding is the space around the element change. Let's highlight the vertical box because I want to. Oh, that button doesn't seem to be part of the vertical box. Yes, it is. There we go. Let's expand it. It's just, I'm intrigued by the fact that that bottom uh, draggable thing is there, not below. But it is automatically adding them going down. Um, let's add another one in. Uh, duplicates. Okay, so I've just put padding around them to, to give us space, and it's giving us these buttons in the inside this uh, vertical box layout. Often, when you want menus, you want uh, to use the vertical box and have a series of uh, buttons or clickable elements. Uh, and it's right. The last one I'm going to show you is the grid panel, and we're going to put that. Uh, in the middle here, and I'm going to take this button and stick it in. Actually, I'm going to expand out the vertical of this grid box. So, grid box is sort of like a combination between a um, uh, um, a vertical panel and a horizontal panel. Um, and you might have noticed these little uh, buttons with arrows on. So if I want to move this, imagine inside the grid box, we've basically got, we're using a table um, like you might have in a Microsoft Word document or a, an Excel document. Um, and we're just going to move which cell that one's in and move it around. We can move it down. Um, that has moved it down, but because this, it auto sizes the cells and there's nothing above it, then it hasn't made any uh, significant changes. Um, we can also see that we have over here 
um, we can say which row it's in. I'll come back to row span and column span in a, in a minute. And so this is in row zero, uh, so zero for the top row, one for the next row, uh, two for the next row down. Um, and uh, column is in column one, so zero is the left hand column, one is the is the next one across, um, um, etc. As you go across. Uh, and if we add in, let's do some duplication and uh, add some stuff. So let's just zoom out again. I'm going to keep duplicating my buttons. Uh, duplicates and duplicates. And I'm going to want several more duplicates. They're all on top of each other at the moment. Is that the six that I need? I'm just going to use these buttons to move some of them about. Uh, come on, get hold of it. Let me go. I'm going to move that one down there. And that one there. And I'm going to actually go for another column over here. So these numbers are auto changing as I uh, move them back using these buttons. Uh, but the other thing you sometimes want is to do what's called a column span or a row span. So if I'm going to take this one, I'm going to make it do a, a row span and it's going to span two rows. And I'm just going to put the number two in there to span two rows, and it makes it double height. It makes it take up the space of two elements of the grid. Similarly, with this one here, I'm going to make it stretch across um, by using the column span. I'm put column span two in there, and it stretches across. There we go. So that's a uh, a grid layout. That's a vertical box. That's a horizontal box. This is a uh, canvas panel. Um, and that's the very basics of how to use layout. We haven't talked about pretty layout. We haven't talked about making these elements inside them usable or uh, anything of uh, uh, you know that looks nice or actually does anything for us in our game. We just had a quick blast at some of the basics of laying stuff out. And that's it from me for now.